Hey everyone, WandaBot here, and welcome back to Vigante. That looks like a pretty damn good character. Smooth stiletto, though. Let's see if we have any other options. Uh, nope, we don't. Okay. Yeah, Vigante 319. Wander, zero. Well, either way. Okay, so we've got... we got Fire and Ice. That means... Let's start with Flame Wave. We're gonna... We're, we're just gonna cast the crap out of people today. See if I can do a little bit of damage. Chances are, no. I really wish there was... I wish the poets actually did just as much damage as the bullies, and just, you know... Oh. I need to cook that bat. Uh, I mean, I guess I have the intrinsic ability to do so. Oh, that's quite the great axe. Alright, oh wait, I hate axes. Well, that changes things. Not too much, but it does. Alright. Oh, shoot. We keep finding good axes. All right. Whatever. If I can find a spear, I'll be happy. Just because spears are just a little bit easier to work with. Okay. Uh, let's see. Did I did I say Vigante? I meant Catacomb Kids. My bad. I forget these things. I'm very, very focused on everything. Stuff like that. Okay. I mean, the two games are weirdly similar. There's really not that much crossover in terms of, like, game mechanics. Okay. Interesting, if you hit a purple slime in the face, they'll actually refocus which direction they're they're going to attack. So then ow, damn it. So the nice thing is we have We have fire nice. Hey, actually that means I can learn Infernus. Plop it there, go back here, switch Shadow Cloak to that, use Infernus, chuck the up, oh, drop the bat, wait for it to th drop the bat. Eat the bat. Okay, there. Now it actually counts. So, well, that's some. That's a waste of. Oh wait, no. We've a, we've got a spare book. Okay, let's get our cast back. I don't know why this works, but it does. And I'm not going to be one to complain about it. So, lots and lots of spike traps today. Yeah, because apparently if you eat a frozen bat, it does not actually count as a uh, part of the standard meal, which is weird. I don't like it. Okay, so first and foremost, we know blue potions are good. Turns out it's regeneration. Next and foremost. Let's go invisible. Set this guy on fire. And then beat him to death while we're here. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, good. Why? Because we get... Oh, maybe I was not burning. I wasn't actually burning there. Okay. I question many things, but still. It's a bat. Yeah, my bad. Anyway. Nope. Oh, this guy is violent. And I do not tolerant, tolerate violence. So does the bloody grumble corpse have me? Have have me? Have for me? Boots? The answer is not so not so many useful things. Anyway, welcome back, Dragon Knight. We've got plenty of we've got plenty of potions of regeneration. That's nice. Like if I could just secure one run that get gets like halfway somewhere today, I will be a happy camper. Unfortunately, chances are most of them won't. Potion of burning. Good to know. And there goes there goes my whatever. Nuts. Okay, so now we want to... Whoa, okay. Do not want to be here anymore. Eat our smoldering dead beat. Perfect. And we can still get our... Uh... We can still get our other stuff. Ooh. Jeez, that is a lot of... That is... Oh, that was a potion. That must have gotten messed up. Nope, a potion. Don't want that. Boiling potions is a bad move. Anyway. We've got, we've got another piat up here. Might as well go back and get it. <laughs> they couldn't use bat because real life has a copyright. What the? Oh, no! Stop doing that! When, when did you even do... I really need to remap my keys again. Okay, and we have the bat again, right? Yes. Good. Eh. No mercy. This is... Probably, oh, it's not just pure spikes. Okay, well, murder works too. He's regenerate. Ooh, he tried for a last ditch uh, potion drop or potion chuck. Did not work out well for him or him, really. Really wish I knew how to actually descend on onto spikes without hurting myself, but that's okay. Okay, actually, do not want to kill this piat with, uh, with the potion just in case we didn't get that. Okay, now we now we get the jump height boost, which actually we need for this. Well, that was 
Not actually what I wanted it for, but it worked. Oh shit, this guy's still alive. I killed him with a potion. I am a deadly assassin. And this is not the right way to go, apparently. I don't know. But it works. Oh, it works. At least in so far as we're not dead yet. Nope! I'm feeling faint. Damn it. Okay, so now we do the other risky thing. I don't like these risky things. I don't like them at all. Okay, so we get the leveling orb. I mean... I could go for this... So here's the problem. Traversing back the way we came is kind of a scary thing. At the same time, we want magic because magic is nice. Game, why are you trolling me? What do I want to do? Ah, uh, because equipment is nice. Free one, free run would save my ass. That's that's my one consideration. Because let's go with luck and let's just hope we can get some second hand equipment along the way here. Okay, let's get out of here before we get poisoned. Now the question is, do we go with uh, bats? The answer is no. We really don't need the jump pipe. Let's see if we can get get us some slimes, especially because this way we can uh, start cooking them. Really wish there was like a way of intentionally cooking stuff in this game. Uh, that did not involve Infernus. Like, if you could actually... And that's why I wanted Free Run. Okay, well, let's try that again. Uh, Magical Combat Whirlwind, Portal, nope, nope, and nope. Should mess around with Haste. I don't know if that's a good idea. Dark Arts and Shadow Cloak. No. If I could have uh, some kind of fire spell in Dark Arts, that'd be good. That wouldn't work. Okay, Fire Nice and Slow is tempting. Hates Daggers has a hammer. Clumsy. No. Ooh, this is a damn good character. Shit for weapons, but at the same time, this this will work. Okay. So the one problem is our weapon is garbage. But that's okay. Okay, so we got poison. That'll weaken the grumbles. Uh, oh, right. We've got we got fire. Gotta say, Flame Wave. Very nice. Very nice skill. Very nice spell in this game. Anyway. Let's GTFO from that for a little bit. Okay, it's a good idea to have a torch in your inventory. See, the thing is, like, I knew that I was going to be crossing that. I just was hoping that I could do kind of the running leap, catch the edge, and keep going. Unfortunately, that was not the way it panned out. Also, why the hell would I go this direction? I don't even know. Okay, let's just let him burn to death. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope, nope. Balls. I forgot. Standing directly above a corpse. A burning corpse. Nope! Well, I'm burning again. How do I keep burning? Oh, right, because Flame Wave's... Flame Wave is not in Furnace. Of course. Okay, so we don't want to play Bully. We're, we're going to keep playing Poet, regardless of whether or not it's working for us. So. It's getting bad. Let's see. No. Man, that last character had some promise to it. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Fire Nice Vampires. I mean, it's practically the same character every single time. Yeah, this game is this game always wrecks me, but I, I think I'm in a much more chill mood today. So this time around, let's go with Infernus. Because I'm less liable to kill myself with it, maybe. Am I gonna hit him? Probably not. Okay, we know that's a potion of regeneration. Oh, balls that don't do damage. I really do not do damage in this game, do I? Like, that's that's the problem I have with the poet character. The poet character does garbage damage no matter what you do. And that... I think that that's always going to annoy me just a little bit, because it's like, alright, 
So you you simply are super reliant on a limited spell pool to get through, which does kind of make it a nice little puzzle system. But it's still kind of annoying along the way. Okay, when do the other character classes come out? Hell if I know. And I really wish I did. Alright, fine. I can't hit him that way. Let's go with the book. But like, this dagger is very liable to not just, just not do any damage along the way, which is not a good feeling. Oh, well, let's see if I get just mystery crushed here. Nope, doesn't look like it. We're gonna get a lot of bats, though. Which is kind of nice. Assuming that we can kill them. There we go. Hey, bats aplenty. Need a couple more, but still, that's better than nothing. And that looks like a grum, grum buddy. Oh, he did not burn. Get over here. Now I will guard the exit with my life, because burning is important. Everybody must burn! Wow, he's dumb. He did not even feel like going for the fire. We got a potato. Let's check this out. Ooh, okay. Let's go with that. Go with that. Okay, so now I'm like the slowest ever. I'm incredibly slow, but at the same time, I've got a fair amount of defense. Stuff like that. It does feel like damage in this game is kind of... Uh, not damage. Uh, defense is kind of a nonsensical thing. Fortunately, that bat is poisoned. So eating it, probably a bad move. Charge stone boots, not a good idea either. Okay. Oh, I'll be fine. We've already found the leveling orb, so I could probably just head out if I find the exit. And the answer is behind door number one. Here we go. Unless I go, unless I keep climbing this, get get poisoned, stuff like that. That would be kind of annoying. Okay. Let's see. Pick a random character. Where am I? Wait. Wait. What? Well, looks like I have accepted my new place in life as a goddamn wall. And, uh, can I go up? Nope. So I am literally fused with the wall, wall right now. There, There is no way. Huh. That's regeneration. And I'm frozen. I'm wall hacking. Someone banned me. Okay, how do I how do I quit? How do I oh, I think I have to go this way. Okay, uh quit to menu. That was dumb. Okay, so random character. I really don't want to be a random poet, though. Like, random poets are hard hard to deal with. I wish there was... I wish there actually was a random uh, random button. Okay, so we got two hit, hit points and stuff like that. But yeah, Wanderbot has evolved into wall, wall, Wallerbot? Wallbot. Anyway. So our stats are, like, super garbage right now. And he's evaded that one. Eat the bat. Okay, so we effectively will not survive many hits. Damn it! How many things am I going to chuck this grumble before he realizes I'm madly in love with him? Good spirit. No, what's the thing with this character? Like swords, has a bunch of random abilities. Okay, works for me. Oh, well that isn't concerning in the slightest. Have I seen how to break Vagante? I've seen a fair amount of ways to break Vagante at this point. Okay, so if we're going with a character with almost next to no hit points, we got to go with uh, Tough. Uh, tougher character, the better, probably. Block and disarm is probably a good plan to go with. Okay. Let's see. Actually, let's sci- We are never going to commit science upon anybody today. I don't understand. Do we have a victim? We have a victim. Who did all... Hmm. Almost all my damage. Okay, random character. So what does this character have? Hates hammers, messy eater, poised. Has a machete of light clean... Uh, this is kind of a garbage character. Alright, fine. See, this is why I don't pick the random characters and I try and vet them particularly well. Because otherwise I end up in bad situations. Specifically, I really hate messy eater. Let's go with the sharp rapier. This damage is probably important. Okay. 
Okay, so we're already almost dead. I, at this point, I don't think I'm going to be doing random characters. The thing is, this game is just such, like, an unbalanced mess right now that, it, like, I really do not want to deal with being... Oh, man, and I'm a messy eater. Oh, this character... I mean, I almost want to just get this character killed because I just do not want to deal. Like, messy eater and clumsy are just the two of the shittiest perks you could possibly get your hands on. Why would you... Why would, why would they even, do, like, have it part of the game? I don't even know. Okay. Well, whatever. Uh, what is the schedule for tonight? Uh, probably a little bit of this. Probably a little bit of Hero Generations. Binding of Isaac? I don't even know. Okay, so we're going with luck. We need equipment. This character doesn't have much going for him. And he's going to need... He's going to need stuff. Because we're not getting the Biat combo this way. Stuff like that. Still. Let's see. like my character's hair at least. You know what? It's nice to be positive. Actually, I want to eat this. We might as well go for the HP combo because boy, we aren't doing anything else. Actually, do I really want to do this? I feel like a monster sometimes when I play this game. Leading poor grumbles to their deaths. I said feel. Not necessarily am. Okay, let's... I mean, we might get the health bonus from this, or we might get nothing. It's kind of the problem with Messy Eater. You generally just get garbage from it. That's kind of annoying. Okay, well, let's see if we get anything good. Hammer of Stopping. This character likes swords, hates hammers. Of course, irony and stuff like that. I am a monster. Yeah. Oh, that looks like a party. I really don't want to attend. So let's, uh, let's not attend. Let's just give it the good old what, what ho. We don't care about you. Oh, shoot. Yep. This is why I do not like Messy Eater. Eating that full meal did nothing for me. And he's gone. Like I said, monster precise axe. Nah, it doesn't have that great of stats. Shoot, we have to go back through that party. Art alternatively, violence. Oh, that was pretty sad. See ya, Jerwolf. Have a good one. Okay, we're not we're not picking random characters anymore. This game just does not does not lend itself well to random. If the random characters were guaranteed to be like acceptable, sure, but they're not. 90% of the time, they're complete garbage. Okay, poised, loud, eh, good with good with spears. Let's go with it. This character might have some potential honor. As long, as long as it's not messy eater and clumsy, I don't, really don't care. And honestly, poison is pretty good. Because you spend less time just being in uh, kind of the derp situation. Oh, and my torch goes out. How the deuce am I supposed to get over there? Alright. Well, turns out this entire place is a bit of a wash. Let's get out of here. Unfortunately, I've already taken damage. Let's see, messy eater makes it so you have to have two full meals to get the full benefits. I'm not... I mean, maybe... But that's still pretty garbage. Let's eat this. I'll probably get uh, some water before we... I uh, wish you could empty up potions. Before we find some piats. Wow, really? Double one of those. Alright, let's just regen the level again. This is garbage. Again! But yeah, I... Like, I, I wish... I hope they add some kind of, like, ability to hide negative stats. Because I... I never will voluntarily play Messy Eater or Clumsy. So why why is it an option for me at character generation? Holy crap. Oh, this is a Bardish 2. No. Oh, that hurt. But that helps. Okay, so we like Spears and we have one. So that means we have Spear Skull 1, so we can already do Backswipe. Okay, so that that means we actually have enough room for one Regenerate. Let's do this. But yeah, no, there, there's little point to all of this business if you can already just re-roll, which is kind of nice. Well, that potion's gone. Well, that's not the end of the world either. Ooh, hello. Got a rare chest and only a couple of... Only a couple of fish ranas up here. Okay, so the nice thing is... Oh, hello. Don't even know if that's actually necessary to do so. But still. 
Let's see, so we know where the leveling orb is, and we have that mess down there. Oh, wait. Hold on. Perfect. Fancy che chest, here I come. What does it give me? Jacket of light and power. All right. Works for me. So we didn't even take damage from that. Thank you, crazy-ass Bardish. So, I probably should actually hold on to these level orbs until the point where I leave the floor. And we're going with speed because our speed is awful. Our defense is pretty bad, too. Uh, we'll figure it out. Either way, our equipment is looking good. If I can get some good boots and a nice helmet, we're actually in a solid position to win. Uh, or at least do mildly well. Okay. I don't like my odds there. Let's just regen this. I'm a goddamn light bulb. Better never forget it. All right. This is why I need speed. This is why I very badly need speed. Okay, so we don't have any leveling orbs to get our cast back, but that's okay. Warm and cloudy. Still don't know what those do. And we know where the... Oh, shoot. Okay, we know not to use those. That's good to know. I can regenerate if I have to, but I'm not super keen on it. Okay, so... Do I really, really want to... Yeah, I can probably brave that. Okay, so I don't actually know what half of these potions do. I really wish you could tell the effects based on the the uh, the mist that comes off of them. It's not really the end of the world, but still. Frozen Ball of Goo does this no good. Okay, but we've got regeneration. We've got a straight shot, straight to the door, stuff like that. Cool. Okay. So the hell's what we're doing? Eh. Fascinatingly. Okay, so muddy potions are... Muddy potions are good. We got fire and ice up there. Oh, you've discovered us. What are you doing? Super duper! Come on. Gotta say, taunt is pretty awesome. Someday I hope to have killer taunt. Okay, so we get a frozen dead biet. That's perfect. Oh, that boulder scares me. Here's all of the children, really. So here's the problem. I don't think... Oh, hello. We need to do this. Perfect. Okay, purple potion is good. Potion of invisibility. Now, can I get out of there? Should be able to. Let's clear a pallet. Oh, boy. I might be trapped in here, actually. Ugh. Balls, I am. I'm actually trapped in here. Jacket of Reflection versus Light and Power. I'm getting really sick of these rooms. Because, <sighs> like, fuck this. I was like, alright, I can make it down, I can get the water, and I can do a roll jump, but the character doesn't want to roll jump. Oh, we got it! Okay, so we know we can make it. Let's eat the dead biat. Let's come back for this one. So we know we... We, we know we can make it. It's just hard, and it hurts. Yeah, going back in. This was probably a bad plan, but now now that I know I can make it, it's not terrible. How did the hell did I do it, though? Oh. This is why... This is why I go with free run. Despite the fact that it murdered me. Okay. See, the thing is... I need, I need to learn, I need to learn how to get out of these. 
And I have no idea how to do it. Okay, I'm gonna have to stretch my fingers here. This hurts a little bit, but still. Ah, oh, man. Like, to some degree, I probably shouldn't have gone back for the frozen biat. At the same time, my, like, overall... I don't know. Oh, oh. Fun fact. I don't even know if I need to roll for this one. Yeah, I believe in me too. Because we can make that. Okay, so it does not involve that. I really wish you could, like, wall jump in this game. There we go. Got it. Okay, so we still have the frozen dead bat. I'm going to leave the bottle of water here. Don't need it. We got... Bats plenty, in fact. Okay. Orb of Leveling, thank you so much for existing. We're going with luck now. There we go. So, shiny. so the thing is, the, uh... The, the frozen bats, we can totally get another one of. That, that's not so hard. Damn, that wasn't worth it, though. Uh, but I can cook it. So there we go. So, <laughs> I miss it when you used to say, alright. Eh, I should probably say it more often. Alright. Yeah, that's pretty good. I just, I, I cycle between all of the things. Spiked Awkward Crown, you are garbage. So. Was it this character that Muddy Potions were good? Honestly, don't remember. Either way. Uh... Bats, 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 potion of flames. Don't want any any business with you. Let's do that. Actually, hold on. I might be able to do some cooking with this. Can I put it next to... Interesting, so the, since the boulder isn't 100% in lava, it doesn't matter. Okay, stop burning so I can collect my food. I need dinner. Thank you. Like I said, smoldering dead biats, actually viable for eating. Uh, or picking up and using, whatever. Okay. Doesn't look like we got any other biats around. So, in that case, let's just keep going. We got the exit, and no no reason to risk anything for our, anything. Okay, perfect. What we got, friendship? Abound? Uh, what else do we get around here? A Yeah, but he's above a giant pit of lava. I'm, I, I'm gonna say this now. I really do not want to deal with that, to say the least. Oh, shoot. He almost made that jump. Okay, let's go for the weakness. Oh, shit. Okay, cast regen before we get murdered. Don't know what this potion does. How the hell does he have all that hit points? Oh, he died. Okay, fine. Okay, so that was a potion of strength. Don't want to deal with that kind of business. Okay, so let's toss that over there. Set that on fire. Does he know I'm here? He probably does. At least now. But that's what this is for. Okay, and we don't know what this does. No, that is a potion of might. Well, I hucked a potion that he already had on him. At him. Cool. Okay, now let's loot these guys, see if there's anything good. The answer is nothing. Nothing at this. Super duper and clean jacket. Clean jacket's... Versus light and power. No. We... Oh, whoa. This is still that character. You you know, I legitimately forgot. So, despite all that work... Oh, shoot. There's a bat there. I'm actually going to... I'm actually going to regen the level mainly because I didn't want to go over a bed of lava or straight down past a pit of spikes. Both seemed very unattractive propositions. Given the situation. Hello. Sharp trident. Great. Uh, some of the stats... What's our defense, by the way? Oh, God, our defense is garbage. Super duper. Okay. So we pretty much done done grumble up here. Seriously, that, that freezing is amazing. You get back here. There we go. There's our potion of might. Did not fly our faces straight into a crusher trap. Okay, please. Please be... Yeah, not a poet dummy. That's okay. Don't care about being a poet one way or another. And I have no idea how to get to that, but that's okay. We don't have to get past uh, Grumble Prime anyway. Okay. Should have a notification when somebody says, uh, when somebody follows you that says Super Duper. That would be hilarious. 
I might actually do that. I'll have to... Oh God, I have to get, like, more streamy type setup things. So here's the question. Do we have learning points? We don't have many. So you know what? I'm not going to deal with that. Here's the problem. Actually, let's drink this potion of might now. Murder? Whatever amount of countryside we can get here. Oh, nope, that's a regeneration. And it is gone. Eh, it's not the end of the world, and we don't care about bats anymore anyway. Okay, so level level up. Uh, don't care about luck. We're going with speed, because our speed is garbage. Then I'm probably going to go with defense? Ooh, oh, I'm just going to let that happen. Actually, come to think of it, do you count? Frozen Ball of Goo probably doesn't. Dang. Oh, he teleported out. That bastard escaped. All right. Oh! Wait. Is there a way out of here? Huh. Well, this sucks. Oh, it's broken. Somebody comes onto my stream to advertise. Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. <sighs> Do not click it. Do not click the goddamn advertising link. Yeah, that telly trap is not coming back. We're doomed in here. See, the... Super duper! Super duper! Ah, man. Like, these honestly annoy me more than anything else. Because you know what? Death is my fault. Traps are my fault. That... Sort of my fault. But I really can't say I deserve it. Glitch into the wall again. That was not even <laughs> a quick glitch into the wall again. Okay, I, th I thought you guys were telling me to run up it again. Oh, tits, this is probably a bad move. Alright, let's just leave. Fuck you guys. I'm getting out of there. But, yeah, no, this game has kind of garbage level generation. Like, I don't even know if that that is on purpose, the, like get stuck in a weird-ass corner thing. Like, I almost want to say that that's an accident, that it just creates those tiny little traps. Um, but, like, somebody was, somebody was saying uh, in the comments on in the YouTube video that, uh, you know, just admit it, the reason why I hate this game is because of the instant death. And honestly, the instant death doesn't bother me that much. Just because... Um, the instant death 90% of the time is, like, my fault. There are a couple of, like, really random things that piss me off, and, you know, maybe the 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 balance is kind of bad. But at the same time, like, I can always point to it and be and say it's my fault. The thing that I hate about this game, truly, is the level generation is kind of bad. It's just not fun. It's like, all right, here are these tight, tight little corridors that, like, you really can't do much. Oh, are you kidding me? Well, we got to go with this. Oh, wait. We have small chance of winning? Yep. Okay, so I gotta wait until that that other mushroom uh, respawns. Okay, let's try that again. If I dump it, like, right here. There we go. Okay, see, like, that works there. But even then, like, without that mushroom, that entire little room segment would have just been pure garbage. Uh... And for an area that you'd, like, actively have to go through, that's just not fair. And, I mean, that, that bit's okay. You know, having the mushrooms, requiring the player to actually think for themselves, all right, fine. But uh, any time that where they're just stuck in, a, stuck in a tiny little area and have, like, no way of getting out, it's like, why, why even have 
why even have this part of the game? Why even why even have a game at this point? Just have a character get stuck in a room and tell them, you know, have fun. This is going to happen to you, like, maybe 10% of the time. But still, 10% of the time is not a good situation to be in. Actually, let's bust up the mushrooms before we fight the bats. So we've got some fish ranas down here, too. Okay. Eh, we only got two. Battle! There we go. Turns out I am a champion fish rana battler. But, yeah, I don't know, those are my thoughts on the level. Well, the level gen, because, like, that's why I like Vigante so much. Like, I know, I know it's got, like, tight corridors and stuff like that, but no matter what, I'm just going to pref prefer Vigante's overall level design, because it feels really complete. Oh, hello. It, it feels really interesting. Well, that was weird. That was also weird. That's okay, gets me a smoldering dead bat, which really doesn't help us that much, but still. Man, nuts. I don't really have much to use against him yet either. Alright, fine. Hey, Guess this works. Come on. Step over it again. Step over it again. Come on, stop rolling! Okay, that was scary for like all of two seconds. What do you get from this guy? The answer is nothing good. Bye. Ah. Uh... No, I don't think so. I don't think we're I don't think we're continuing with this level. To be honest, I mean we could go the other way around. That doesn't even look that good. No, we'll try it. That's probably where the leveling orb is. Uh, but like I I think the teleport traps, for example, are probably the biggest problem, and like the random ass holes and stuff like that. Any interesting ways I would fix these problems, honestly. I would, uh, I would say sit, sit the developers down in front of, uh, like an old-school Castlevania game and tell them to have fun for a while. Because, honestly, I, like, I feel some amount of Castlevania in these level design decisions, but they're, they're messy. There's some amount of obvious intention here. Um, and, like, I'm okay with unfair as long as unfair is... <sighs> okay, no. I'm not okay with unfair as long as, like, there's nothing the player can learn from the, from the, uh, nice, from the experience. So, for example, with that teleport trap, it's just never teleport, ever. That's not really good, that's not, that's not a lesson. That's just something to make me angry. Because, you know, you don't always get that choice. Everything burns. Including your face, okay. Uh, because I, I learned literally nothing from that teleport trap apart from the fact that it kind of sucked. Um, easiest way to fix it truly would just be nix that sort of thing. Honestly, I, I think everything should be inherently escapable. As long as you're alive, you should have a way out. Anything else just feels wrong. Um, just because it's like, you know what, getting, getting killed is annoying. I'll, I will grant. Crimson Potion. Oh. That's not what we're here for. We're here for the Infernal Shield. Okay. Um. But how, how, how else, what else would I do? Oh, shoot. Don't actually care about you, do I? Don't care about you either. Um. I think more, I think more like open rooms and stuff like that, but with like less of the, the instant death. Oh, okay. Less of that. Not that, like, instant death is necessarily truly that bad. Like, the crusher traps, alright, you gotta learn how to get past them. But they're not, they're not necessarily terrible. They're just kind of annoying. Oh, tits, tits, tits. Do not want to be around that. Okay. Can't believe I made it out of there without dying. It works for me. Sharp bearded axe. Are we, no, we're good with spears. Okay. Oh, hey, we didn't have to worry about the crusher trap and stuff like that. But, um, wall's destructible if you bang on them long enough. Honestly, I think there should just be an, an inherent, like, wall jump system. That if you have, like, if you're sprinting, you can actually, like, climb off of walls. I, I'm thinking of, uh, Mega Man here. If any of you have ever played Mega Man, you can effectively just wall kick forever. And I, I think that would be a very viable way of avoiding things. It might, it might lead to some kind of, like, weird scumming of the level design. 
But I, I think it would be an easy way of fixing that kind of stuff. Um. Ooh, I don't want to be around you. I don't want to be around you at all. Well, let's keep going. Uh, but I, I think maybe, maybe not like infinite wall jump, just because infinite wall jump is a little ridiculous. But like singular wall jump just once, I think would be perfect. Okay. Do I care about any of this stuff? I guess really just the boost spike shoes. That's fine by me. Yeah, now we jump like crazy. But yeah, I think I think wall jump would be beautiful. Just one singular wall jump if you have sprint and enough like uh, room to maneuver or even just not. I think that would be great. Okay, we're on floor three, so we're going to be getting our uh, leveling along here. Of course, this is where things get super concerning because everything gets even harder. Great. Still. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I would enjoy being able to wall jump. Just in terms of, like, gameplay, because it would it was uh, yeah, it would allow for a lot more, like, kind of interesting gameplay as well. Uh, you know, maneuvers and stuff like that. Ah, defense for speed. Let's What's do this? it. It's probably a bad idea, but we'll do it anyway. Especially when I got, like, certain skills. Hard to tell. You know what? Oh, we know. Oh, wait, no. We already knew that was flames. I have no, no idea what that was, and I can't get the slime anyway. Okay. Because, like, honestly, right now I've got, like, really insane jumps, but it doesn't feel like I can really do much with it. Like, uh, the parkour system in this game is really promising. And I like it, but it only works for, like, wall running your face directly into, like, dangerous situations. Which I'm not keen on. I wish, I wish the, I wish the, oh, hello. I'm too good. I wish that the uh, the combat system was... Oh, are you kidding me? Alright, let's get out of here. I wish the, the movement system was as as complicated as the combat system is. Because I feel like... how the Where the hell did you come from? Alright, fine. Warm cloudy. Turns out health. Or some kind of something. Either way. Oh, what's it got? Smooth breath, breastplate? Nothing else. That's kind of annoying. What kind of music do I like? Uh, a lot of OC remixes. Video game music is pretty good. Uh, I guess they go hand in hand, so there's that. Anyway, I have no idea what that potion did. Uh, electronic dance music is pretty good. Uh, any anytime I've ever played Catacomb Kids, I'm usually listening to the kind of music I like to listen to. Oh, what the? That's not even physics. Who you know. Let's see. What kind of weapon attribute that can turn enemies into shrooms? Fungamancer? That'd be kind of neat. Oh, Night Frostable Venus. Have a good one. Okay, we're not going to career, careen down to the lava. But we are. I might be able to save us, though. Take off our frontal shield. Damn it. <sighs> I also am starting to get really sick of those. Those, like, long gaps that it's just like, alright, you're gonna die. I don't know. Either way, nope. Messy eater. Knife of rending. Nope, nope, nope. Hopper, nope. Nope. And please, please, developers, get rid of messy eater. Or something. Either way, that'll, that'll have to do. Yeah, hello, lava. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I, I love playing this game, but man, do I get grumpy at some of the game design decisions, because it's just like, this is anti-fun. It's not challenging, it's just anti-fun. Which is a Bad situation to be in, honestly. What's this? Strength. Ah, that would have been nice earlier. Anything from that? Nope. There's probably no reason for me to go down here. What's there? Yep. No good reason. I mean, I can maybe hear the leveling orb. Nope. Can neither hear nor see. Nor... And the exit is currently blocked by a bunch of grumbles. Who made this anyway? Uh, that's a super indie team. I think this is the first game they've ever made. Uh, so there, that's a thing. Why all of these grumbles? Oh, we found the exit. Or not the exit, the leveling orb, so that's nice. So luck first. Then speed. So we're not dead anymore. We don't have... Okay. We don't have an easy way of taking care of those two crumbles at the... Oh, wait. No, we do. Drop the rock. Grab a mushroom. Because if I can get one near them, but not on them... 
we're in a good situation. Damn it. Let's see if I can hit him. Okay. Come on. You can make it. The hell was that? Oh, he might have boost shoes on. I want those. Yeah, for a first game, this is really good. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if a number of the developers weren't fairly experienced. Uh, you know, worked worked on other games, stuff like that. I think that would be good. But I think opening up the levels a lot would help substantially along the way. And um, that was invisible. Oh, and he's dead. No, he's not dead. Ooh, props to him. I have no idea where he is. That is inherently concerning as well. Well, we know where the leveling orb is. Somehow that lit it up. How the hell did I kill him with a potion? I question many things. I mean, halberd, reserve, buzzing spear, severed arm, severed arm, severed leg, severed leg, grumble corpse. Man, you did not have a good day, did you? And empathy is useful, but not that useful. Okay. Okay, so we get free run. All this five. Do we have a reason to go down? Doesn't look like it. Okay. And we get a mask. Well, let's put it on. Apparently, we are uh, we're going to be welding for a while. And we want nothing to do with that one. Okay. Let's get out of here. No bats, though. I've already, I've already set that thing off. Good. I summoned the bats. Unfortunately, they did not feed me any snacks, though. And by bats, I mean bats, of course. So, do we have anything up and over here? The answer is still no, still no. Yes, okay. Maybe not be, maybe not be much. May not be much, but at the same time, purple potion. I love me some snacks, regardless of what kind of snacks they are. I still have no idea what those are. Okay, so I'm gonna commit some violent murder against him. I don't even know if this is, like, where the exit is. I'm just doing th doing this for the sake of doing it. Because uh, we want those bats. Whoa, everything is burning around here. Seriously. This is excessive. Hello. Okay, so we get Magic 101. We get another bat. We get a purple potion, which I'd swear we just chucked one. Oh, oh it didn't, it didn't in impact. I am burpy today. I have no idea why. Oh, right. I made uh, paella. And it was like the weirdest, weirdest paella you could possibly make. So of course I'm going to have some amount of like, ugh. Which I apologize for. Spiked awesome? Boots of Gossamer. Yes. Okay, that's probably even better than the... Than the... The other ones. Let's see. Because uh, Boost Shoes, especially once they have the Bat Bonus, are kind of nonsense. Do we have... Oh, going to avoid that. Do we have anything else? Nope, doesn't look like it. I was like, do we have a regal chest down there? Do I have to sacrifice for myself for greed? And the answer is, eh. Don't know what this does. Oh, that was mana potion, apparently. Which does all sorts of weird garbage. How am I not hitting him? There we go. That was confusing. Clean good partisan. Tempting. Let's do it. So I'm slow, and beatings will continue until... Yeah, no, that is way more effective. And there is nothing over here for me anyway. Well, what do you guys have? The answer is renewed plate mail, sandals, good awkward rapier. Okay, so nothing nothing I have any interest in. You, polished... Ah, uh, you know what? Let's go with polished. Our speed got kind of a nice little bonus and stuff like that. Okay. But yeah, now I got gossamer, so we don't have to worry about traps. Which I'm ha very thankful for. Now let's just scoot, because I have no idea what's... On the other other side, I need this. Okay. So, leveling orb? I hear it. I feel like I'm getting farther and farther away from it. Stow the potion of invisibility? Yep, thought so. Uh, yeah, speed. Because we want acrobatic. Acrobatic is a lifesaver, especially in certain circumstances. Here we go. Okay, so now we have to do the scary thing. Actually, no, we don't. Okay. So, unfortunately, this item has pretty garbage stats, but the effects are great. I love it how you can be invisible past fish. You'd think the fish would notice. It's like, there's a giant moving body of something here. Okay. So, what is health useful for? Health is useful for... Uh, recover... Actually, it actually actively recovers your health. Sup! 
Okay, that's annoying. I was like, let's taunt. Nope. Fuck. Okay. Ah, uh, this is probably going to be the last run. Oh, man. Failure to launch across the board. Tonight has not been uh, particularly encouraging. Like, we keep, we keep getting to the point where, like, maybe we can do something. And then it's just like, nah. Nah. I'm starting to get a little tired of it. Like, I, I think that's truly the thing I don't like about this game. It is so just generally impossible to even make it close to the end that it's it's very... Very frustrating. Is any speculation what the next classes are going to be? Ah... Uh, no idea. I hope they have, like, an actual melee tank type character. Yeah, that's not a bad one. Also, hi, Sausage. How's it going? Okay. Uh, I hope they have, like, a melee tank type character. You're a jerk. You managed to crush my face in, even as a frozen pe block of man. Okay, I mean, if this ends super, super depressingly, I will... Nope. I will reconsider my, my promise to please roll my direction. Thank you. Yeah, it's better than that. I will rethink things about, like... Oh, come on. Well, time to defend the exits. Or the entrance. I don't even know. Well, this is why Halberd of Force is really effective. Okay, that's not useful. You. Nothing, nothing. Oh, wait. That's the one I already checked. Right? Yeah, they're wearing the exact same thing. Never mind. Okay, what do you have? Also nothing. Temporal tricks, don't care, don't care, don't care. That was scary. But at the same time, we lived. That's the important part, sort of. I'd like to get a potion of... Uh, not a potion, a bottle of water at some point. Clear up my uh, foodsies. Oh, well, uh, let's see. So, luck first. Because good equipment is always more... Probably more vital and stuff like that. Oh. Have a good one, Dan the Magician. Have fun at school. I don't even know... Oh, shoot. I just realized our breastplate of uh, poison is actually going to poison some of the bats we eat here. I don't like when that happens. Oh, well. I will deal. Okay. So, I hope we don't have to go that direction. I really hope we don't. I really hope we actually make it to the end somewhere along the way on one of these runs in the next couple nights. I'd, I'd swear I've, like, regressed or something. Considering how just, like, poorly my luck has gone, it's actually starting to drive me a little bit batty. Ah, uh, still. Okay. Also, hi, Enkiz. How's it going? So we got this guy. If I can murder him... We can get his blue potion, which is strength. Okay. Well, we're not using it on that, that's for certain. I'm gonna just get rid of that. Beat him to death. Here's the thing. I guess if we're injured, we can just eat everything. Stuff like that. Let's see, drink the potion. Yep, that was the plan. Except for, you don't want to eat a random potion. Oh, these don't count. Damn. That's annoying. Any more, any more victims to feed me? I guess I could probably set something on fire. But that seems like a bad idea. Okay, so we get a little bit of health. Perfect. Okay, and then that actually clears up my uh, palate just as well. Turns out eating everything. Viable strategy. Please don't be poisoned. Damn it. Well, let's get out of here. Dejected, disappointed, stuff like that. Also, hey Foxy loves you. How's it going? I'm getting my ass kicked, but that's probably okay. Okay, so we know where the exit is. Don't know where the leveling orb is. Could take the teleportation trap, but that seems like, uh... Oh, right. That's what we were going to do. We were going to just say nope to the rest of this this level. I'm gonna... Yeah, no. Fuck this shit. This is just garbage. Okay. It stole my empty bottle! Whatever will I do? Be dejected about things. Ah, oh, tits. Ah, uh, double tits. Okay, so here's the problem. We have, like, next to no health. 
So I can't I can't afford to take hits here. So what can we what can you offer me? Tempting. That's speed bonus stuff. Oh, Fox loves you. Foxy loves you. My bad. I mean, okay, we could go vampiric, but I don't really like that. Uh, this is some kind of garbage. Alright. Probably could have... No, don't think I could have cooked that. Okay. Oh, perfect. He's evacuated himself. And did nothing. Super duper. Please hit one, not the other. Perfect. Beatings will that yeah, beatings will continue. Crimson potion, please be health based. Yes. Okay, how else are we doing? Fairly good, Shizu Gossamer. Anything else? Nope. Shizu Gossamer. Anything else on him? Clean runic stick. Like we keep getting things with really good speed, but at the same time you want force. As long as you can keep it, because force kicks ass. Breastplate of Empathy. Minus speed, though. Not worthwhile. I want to get up here, but it's not feeling like being particularly useful. In that regard, anything up here? And please don't kill me. I like living. Oh. Hi. Okay. It's better than uh, death. One of those random ass... Oh, act actually, that's really useful. Because we know the crusher... Ah, yeah, that this is an easy escape area. Rub the snake and light. Nope, not at all. Oh, right, we have gossamer, so we don't even have to worry about traps. What am I What am I doing here? I don't... That... Mm, that is nice. I just really wish robes didn't have such garbage defense. I would totally wear robes if, you know, that actually protected me from harm, but I guess it makes sense that it wouldn't. Anyway, what have we got down here? We've got an exit. Also, butt ton of bats. Literally buttloads. Literally buttloads. Speaking of, how, how does butt... Speaking of, how does that one poisoned? When that happen? Wait, it stopped being poisoned. And it started being inedible anyway. I haven't found the leveling orb yet. That means it's directly up. Oh, and there's another bat here. Of course there is. Hey, Daedric, how's it going? And still no more edible bats. Shame. But could be worse. Okay, do we have anything scary? The answer is no. We do get a health potion, though. Like those. And nothing. Perfect. Okay, still alive and very happy for it. Let's go for some speed because our speed is garbage. Defense is pretty good. Garbage and stuff like that, too, but eh, whatever. Okay. Like, we're having a bunch of, like, half-decent runs. The problem is, like, the moment we hit level 3, we start getting the, like, uh... The really gar uh, Are we on fl We're on a grubble camp. Okay. Okay. So we got some defensive measures here. I'm just really curious what he's doing with himself. Don't know. Didn't really feel like giving him the chance, either. Okay, still not dead. Still not dead. Super duper. Come on, come on, hop down. Hop down. There we go. Okay, he's dead. Not getting his health potion, which is kind of annoying, but still. Blowing the sledgehammer, not useful. Okay, I'm going to escape for a second. Fuck this shit. All right, fine. Uh huh. Super duper. How the dick am I gonna deal with you? Are you naked? Are you? <sighs> that was pretty garbage, honestly. Three grumbles in one area. And none of them were, uh, all of them were rolling over the place. Now, Vezin wise you are totally right. This run has been so uh, good so far for this night, but my luck has run dry. 
That was garbage. I probably should have just regenerated the level the moment I noticed that. But seriously, if you make it to the Grumble Camp and you don't have uh, you don't have any of the spear skills, you're kind of in trouble. Either way, I will see you guys in the next episode of uh, Catacomb Kids. And as always, thanks for watching.